All right, welcome back to another Sir James D. DJ video. Today's video is going to consist of... It's going to be relatively similar to the graphics card BIOS flashing I did. However, this is going to be for your motherboard BIOS. Now, if you're like me, you've had, you know, BIOSes that rip... I mean, these are DVDs, man. I mean, I suppose I would be smart and put them on CDs, but, you know... Whether it be a DVD or CDs, you're tired of ripping through these things. And you want to put it on a USB drive. Now, again, make sure it's greater than 1 gig. And I'm going to show you what to put it on, you know, the, the flashing tools. And then I'm going to show you the methods I use after flashing BIOS, just to make sure you have a full CMOS clear and things like that. So... I've already downloaded the latest BIOS for the classified, which is S664. Now what you're going to want to do, this one you can leave a bin file, okay? You don't have to change it to ROM. So you're going to want to, I suppose you could have just pressed rename, but you're going to rename it BIOS.bin, okay? All right, now what you're going to want to do is download AWD Turbo Flash, and I'd like to thank uh, Devil May Cry, which is the guy who's behind this ISO image. That's his name on YouTube. And extract it right to the desktop. It's such a brilliant... I love Devil May Cry, so... <laughs> it's kind of coincidental. Now, you'll do the same... Ultra ISO, okay, as the graphics card BIOS video, and then just install it right to your desktop, no big deal. And I'm going to have these links on SirJamesD.com in the newest drivers and download section. You're going to want to do File, Open, and then browse your desktop, AWD Turbo Flash. And then drag over your BIOS.bin, which is the S664 BIOS, and go to Bootable, Right Disk Image. Okay. Now is where we need that flash drive. Here it is. And it'd probably be a good idea to erase everything off of it. So just delete everything first and then format again make sure this is the jump drive and this says USB HDD and format and you can either leave that blank or or leave it default and fat default is just fine quick format and I'll take about half a second <laughs> less than that and now write. Do you really want to continue? Yes. Okay, it'll say burn successful. So now you get a restart. Okay, take note up there, it says S659. I'm gonna change that. Okay, load defaults. This is a general method for flashing your BIOS, except for leave it on hard disk, okay? When you put it on a CD or a DVD, you want to change that first boot device to DVD or CD-ROM, leave it at hard disk. However, change hard disk boot priority, make sure that flash drive is the first one, okay? Now my computer, the X58, it shuts down. And I'll restart. Now you don't have to touch anything here. It'll, If you did that correctly, it'll boot right to your jump drive. See at 420, 2010. 
that's the S659. Now again, if you've got a dodgy area where you lose power frequently or every now and then, you're going to want to get a battery backup, okay? Because if you lose power during this flash, you are done. you got to get a new BIOS sent to you, a BIOS chip sent to you by the manufacturer. Or you have to RMA your board, and oh, it's... <laughs> That, that's something that will make you punch through a wall, okay? All right, it's done. Now what you're going to want to do, I'm going to take this off so I can show you. All right, hit F1 like it says. Now, quickly, while it's shut off, pull the power, okay? Now you're going to, I've got this, control panel, but there's also a button for the CMOS reset back here. See? It's right there. So you just take a pencil or a pen, tab that down for 30 seconds, but I'm going to use this. Okay, hold it down for 30 seconds. Okay, now put the power back in, clearly. Start her back up. Yep, S664. Okay, but we're not done. So what you're going to need to do is this is just what I do. It might be deep, it might be overkill, but I just hit load defaults, yes, and then save and exit. And then after this, after it reboots, you go back into BIOS and you can, you have to manually re-input your overclock settings. Do not load a profile, okay? Because that profile was corresponding to a different BIOS. Disabled. RAID, clearly. I disabled my high definition audio audio. Sixty-four bit PCI Express. I've got two fourteen eight 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 twenty one. 74. Some people do 59. That's crunching it a bit for me. Without. It's 126. 1.425. 1.25. 1.27. And check your manufacturers for your DIM. But. Most are 1.65, and then I just put in 1.1, 1.625. I know I'm going fast, but I've done BIOS videos in the past, so I'm able to get that at 6.4 because I leave the base clock nice and low. It's at 143. Two times. And turbo performance I leave off. Let's save that. And you are ready to rock and roll. So I hope this video helped you out and please remember to subscribe over at SirJamesD.com and check out MainLasic.com as well. So, alright.